Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 2011 problem number 3, which was proposed by Belarus. Let f be a function from the set of real numbers into itself, satisfying the following inequality. f of x plus y is less than or equal y times f of x plus f of f of x for all real numbers x and y. We wish to prove that our function is zero for non-positive arguments, for non-positive arguments. It's a nice problem, uh, here are my hints if you wish to try it. First, replace, take our functional inequality and replace y by f of y minus x, and then you should get some inequality and try swapping x and, x and y in this inequality which you get, then add these two inequalities together and after adding them together set y to be 2 times f of x to prove that this crucial inequality is true x times f of x is less than or equal 0 for every real number x and then suppose to the, suppose to the contrary for example that f of x is greater than 0 for some real number x so that that means that the limit of our function as z, for example, goes to minus infinity, actually exists and equals minus infinity, which is impossible given the previous constraint, this one. All right, after showing that, uh, use the fact, again, this crucial inequality boxed in orange box, use this inequality an inequality which you get from the previous part to show that our function must be equal zero for negative arguments and you are almost there uh, what's left is to show that f of zero is also zero and to do that you should justify that f of f of zero is zero and then you should set x to be f of zero and y to be zero in our original your original inequality and that should be enough to show that f of 0 is 0. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so let's take, let's call our functional inequality asterisk and let's set, let's set or change maybe, better word, change, uh, let's change y to f of y minus x in our functional inequality asterisk. What then? Then we have the following. On the left hand side we have f of x plus f of y minus x less than or equal f of y minus x times f of x plus f of f of x. All right, and after some simplifications, we will get f of f of y is less than or equal, uh, less than or equal, sorry, I made a typo, not f of x here, but f of y. All right, f of x, f of y minus x times f of x plus f of f of x. All right, and now let's replace, let's swap, swap x and y. After swapping x and y we will get f of f of x is less than or equal again f of x f of y minus y times f of y plus f of f of y. And what I will do now is to take this and that and I will add them together. Adding inequalities adding inequalities 1 and 2, we'll get the following. On the left hand side we'll have f of f of x plus f of f of y is less than or equal, we'll get 2 f of x f of y minus x f of x minus y f of y plus f of f of x plus f of f of y. Alright, now we can see some cancellations. 
this cancels with that and this cancels with that and we are left with after we can put this on the right hand side on the left hand side and we'll get uh, x times f of x plus y times f of y is less than or equal to f of x f of y and that holds for every real numbers x and y now what i wish to do uh, is to cancel for example this term with this term but to do that we need to choose a specific y namely we'll set y to be two times f of x in our previous inequality then we get the following on the left hand side we have x f of x plus 2f of x f of 2f of x less than or equal 2f of x f of 2f of x all right and now we see that this and that are the same terms so we have derived the following inequality for every real number x x times f of x is always less than or equal zero it is very important and i will call this condition triangle mm -hmm. all right all right what now now I, I wish to go back to my functional inequality let's rewrite our functional inequality asterisk says that f of x plus y is less than or equal i, I don't remember y f of x plus f of f of x all right and now uh, because we wish to show that f of x is less than equal zero for every non-positive x to do that i will suppose now something uh, to the contrary so suppose now Suppose now that, for example, that f of some number x0 is greater than 0 for some real number x0. And let's set x to be x0 in our condition asterisk. Notice that then we have the following f of x 0 plus y less than or equal y times f of x 0 plus f of f of x 0. Let's take a look. On the right hand side, we suppose that this is positive. So the entire right hand side goes to minus infinity as y goes to minus infinity. Yes, let's, let's write it. This entire thing diverges to min to minus infinity as y diverges to minus infinity all right but our function this expression is bounded from above by something diverging to minus infinity which of course means that uh, the limit as y goes to minus infinity of the left hand side is also minus infinity uh, i.e. we can change y for, for y minus x0 and we get the following that limit as z goes z goes to minus infinity of f of z equals minus infinity we have derived this fact but now let's take a look but this implies but this implies that limit as z goes to minus infinity of z times f of z equals plus infinity well why is that uh, because this because we have minus infinity times something else which diverges to minus infinity minus infinity times minus infinity is plus infinity and now we have a problem because remember remember that our function x times f of x is bounded by zero from above 
I condition triangle z times f of z is bounded by zero, so we get a contradiction. We get a contradiction. We get a contradiction. It cannot be true. So our supposition that f of x0 is positive for, for some number x0 is simply false. Let's write it. We have demonstrated we have demonstrated that for every real number x really f of x is less than or equal zero it's less than or equal zero all right but now let now x be a negative number notice that then we have the following chain of inequalities we know that x times f of x is less than or equal zero. How do I know it? By condition triangle, once again. Maybe let's call this condition right here square. But also, this is also greater than or equal zero by condition square. How do I know it? Well, because f of x is great less than or equal zero if i multiply a number which is less than or equal zero by something which is less than zero i get number which is greater than or equal zero all right but that can only mean one thing in both places we must we must have equalities so this implies this implies that x times f of x is zero but x is less than 0, so we can safely divide by x. And we get f of x equals 0. So we have demonstrated. We have demonstrated. Demonstrated. All right, what was I? We demonstrated that for every negative number x, f of x is zero. We are almost there. We need to uh, prove that f of zero is also zero and we will be done. And let's call this condition, I don't know, let's call it inverted triangle, maybe, why not? All right, so let's let's go back to our original functional equation once again. f of x plus y equals f of x f of I don't remember again. It's y f of x. Sorry, y f of x. Y f of x plus f of f of x. Right, and now. I will do the following first. Notice that notice that f of zero is either zero or f of zero is less than zero. How do I know it? By condition square. Yes, it's either zero or, or less than zero. By condition square. In this first case, we have f of f of 0 equals 0. And in the second case, we also have f of f of 0 equals 0. How do we know it? By condition this inverted triangle. Yes, because if this argument is negative, f of anything negative is 0. So all in all, we are sure that f of f of 0 is 0. All right, in both cases. Right, and now let's take our functional equation and let's uh, put the following. So let's set, let's now set x to be f of zero and let's set y to be zero in our, in our condition asterisk. 
then we get the following. On the left hand side we have f of f of 0 is less than or equal f of f of f of 0, 3 times. Right, but we know that f of f of 0 is 0, and notice that after some grouping, uh, f of f of 0, here argument right here, is 0, so it's f of 0. But also remember, but also remember that f of 0, that f of 0 is less than or equal 0. How do I know it? Once again, by condition uh, square, by condition square. Here I'm using condition square. So, since here we have 0, and 0 is less than or equal 0, it must be the case that in every place we have equalities. We must have equalities. We must have equalities. So, f of 0 for sure must be equal 0. Which closes our proof, because now we have demonstrated that for every non-positive number x, f of x is 0. Which actually was our goal. And that closes our proof. Very nice problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time. I hope that you've enjoyed my video. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.